To be really honest, I didn't realise how serious it was no, on ground baby. level because until you've actually been in here, yeah. you don't know. Michael feels lucky to be alive. He's just out of critical care. And a fortnight in hospital has taken its toll. But when it's you experiencing it, it's a different matter. And you are very, very frightened. <laughs> Michael's fully vaccinated. His booster invite arrived the day he was admitted. Sorry. In the next bed is Adam. He spent his 37th birthday in intensive care. Never had that feeling of suffocation, um, but just fighting just to breathe on your own. Unvaccinated, he says he'd been meaning to book a jab. I don't know if I was on my deathbed, but I certainly felt like it. Um, if the jabs, the vaccine reduces ICU, reduces what I've been through, then it, it needs to be taken. Dr Manavas run the COVID ward at the Royal Preston throughout the pandemic. A few weeks ago, he had 27 patients. Now there are more than 50. Every time I leave the hospital after seeing these patients, to be honest, I'm shocked to see in various places like supermarkets, people not wearing masks. In that group of patients who deteriorate and require critical care admission, vast majority still are unvaccinated or have received only a single dose of the vaccine. But COVID is causing other problems on the ward. Look at these six empty beds. They're in the green zone meant for seriously ill respiratory patients who don't have COVID. But someone tested positive, so patients can't be admitted. So much pressure with regard to beds, and particularly green respiratory beds, the non-COVID respiratory beds, but we helpless, we can't do anything about it. Our hands are tied. We can't bring them in. It's deeply frustrating for patients and staff. They've coped with COVID for months, but the job feels never ending. We've had staff who've uh, suffered with PTSD and trust, who still aren't back at work. They've seen some horrific, horrific um, deaths for our patients, you know, and it's, it's as a result, as a consequence of that, they've developed PTSD in their own right. Hardly surprising. They've lost over 800 patients here, and that number continues to creep up. You spend time on these wards, and all these full bays are a pretty bleak reminder. We might feel more relaxed outside, but in here, it's anything but. In fact, it's absolutely relentless. Staff are managing, but only just. And with admissions increasing, they're worn out and worrying what winter will bring. Laura Bundock, Sky News, Preston.